United Nations climate change experts call for urgent reduction of meat consumption in its Climate Change and Land Report, recently approved by world governments in Geneva, Switzerland. The UN's Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or IPCC, urged for an immediate decrease in meat and dairy consumption as a key policy response to the global warming crisis. The panel of 107 leading scientists examined over 7,000 research studies and found that the vegan diet is highest in carbon mitigation potential, followed by the vegetarian diet. Notably, livestock rearing led to almost 75% of worldwide deforestation and massive production of heat-trapping methane gas. However, a plant-based diet can free up millions of square kilometers of land for carbon-absorbing forests and reduce up to 8 gigatons of carbon emissions annually by 2050. Our gratefulness for your comprehensive study and vital recommendations, Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. May all governments take swift and bold actions to promote the earth-saving vegan lifestyle to their cherished citizens in heaven's abiding care. Supreme Master Ching Hai, in joyful tears and heartfelt appreciation, respectfully present the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or IPCC, and United Nations, the Shining World Leadership for Lives Saving Hero Award, with utmost gratitude, highest esteem, and all blessing in God's love. In the name of all beings on our planet, we salute you in deep reverence and thankfulness. May you forever be remembered in history as the most benevolent world leaders of all time, and may God eternally protect and keep you in His highest kingdom. World Bank helps finance water and sanitation projects in Bangladesh. The World Bank's International Development Association, or IDA, has approved a 100 million US dollar concessional loan to facilitate improved access to an enhanced water supply and sanitation system for 30 municipalities in Bangladesh to benefit about 600,000 residents of small towns. The initiative is also being financed by a 100 million US dollar loan from the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank and 9.5 million US dollars from the Bangladesh government. The project will provide the designated areas with infrastructure such as a water treatment plant, water storage, a pipe network, connection to houses including meters, among others. Assistance will also be provided to participating municipalities to improve drainage systems and sanitation. Our appreciation, World Bank, Asian Infrastructure, Investment Bank, and Bangladesh for supporting this important endeavor. In Allah's upliftment, may we work together to ensure a plentiful clean water supply for all world citizens. Norway, a Shining World Leadership Award for Humanitarianism recipient, offers additional funds to UN Environment Program, UNEP. In an effort to reduce marine pollution and support climate change resilience, the Norwegian government has given an additional 9.9 million US dollars in funding to UNEP. This new agreement brings Norway's total contribution to 39.6 million US dollars over the coming three years to aid the collaboration between UN member countries, civil society groups, and private sectors on safeguarding the environment. For 2019, Norway has allocated 4.7 million US dollars toward areas such as global regulations to decrease marine pollution, addressing the connection between climate change and migration, and increasing awareness of antimicrobial resistance in the environment. Many thanks, Norway, for your generosity in helping with the vital issues of our times. In divine goodwill, may your assistance lead to policy development that will ensure a flourishing and sustainable planet. Ethiopia plants millions of trees to mitigate global warming. Ethiopia recently saw over 353 million saplings planted in a single day as a part of their Green Legacy initiative to restore the country's forests. Several government offices and schools were closed for the auspicious day, while Prime Minister of Ethiopia, His Excellency Dr. Abiy Ahmed, a Shining World Leadership Award for Peace Laureate, encouraged his co-citizens to participate. The campaign is being supported by a spectrum of Ethiopian society as well as a number of international organizations with the goal of planting 4 billion trees by October 2019. Vibrant Ethiopia and Your Excellency Dr. Abiy Ahmed, thank you for your plan to restore your nation's forests and your efforts to reverse climate change. May your vision be realized as your trees bloom into wondrous woods and greenery in the protective gaze of the providence. 
Supreme Master Ching Hai gratefully present the Shining World Leadership Award for Earth Protection to the Ethiopian government with high salute, gratitude, and best wishes. May heavens shine on Ethiopia and your peace-loving people. Supreme Master Ching Hai is deeply grateful to the beloved God for all the financial help, comfort and support to the afflicted and needy and or any good cause over the years as a humble vessel for His compassion and love towards His precious children. California transitions to electric school buses. California in the United States will replace over 200 diesel school buses with electric models as the state government seeks to help clean the air and protect the children's lungs. The California Energy Commission has already provided almost 70 million US dollars for the initiative, with a total of 89.8 million US dollars designated to 26 counties under the school bus replacement program. It is expected that the new buses will save over 25,800 kilograms of nitrogen oxides and 249 kilograms of fine particulate matter, PM2.5, per year. Our praises and applause, California, for your loving consideration for the children of your state. In heaven's elevating care, may your new buses soon reach the streets and their young passengers enjoy good health and joyous journeys to school. Chinese scientists create high-safety micro-batteries. Professor Wu Zhongshui and co-researchers at the Dalian Institute of Chemical Physics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences have used scalable screen printing and aqueous electrolytes to produce high-safety planar micro-batteries. Compared to traditional batteries, this newly developed zinc-manganese dioxide micro-battery is more durable and eco-friendly. It is capable of working without separator membranes and has high capacity retention. Besides its long-term cyclability and high ionic conductivity, the aqueous electrolytes provide an advantage because they are non-flammable and non-toxic. Moreover, this new research could encourage scientists of various fields, such as energy storage, nanotechnology, chemistry, and materials science. What a fantastic discovery, Professor Wu Zhongshui and team. In brilliant celestial radiance, may these micro-batteries open up exciting and meaningful pathways in the applications of our intelligent, printed, and miniaturized electronics. The vegan restaurant offering over 200 dishes opens in Dubai, hoping to be recognized by Guinness World Records as the largest plant-based restaurant in the world. Veganity recently opened in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Serving global cuisine, including vegan fried mock chicken, meatball pasta, gnocchi, desserts, and more, Veganity started in the nation in 2017 as a vegan meal plan service. It expanded and now plans to open a location in UAE's capital of Abu Dhabi soon. Congratulations, Veganity, on the successful opening of your grand vegan restaurant. Wishing you all the best and continued growth as your creative and delicious meals inspired ever more people to follow the compassionate way in the illuminating wisdom of Allah. Senior care homes in Australia introduce equine therapy to residents. Two Bolton Clark elderly care homes in Townsville, Australia have recently welcomed monthly visits by a new guest, a horse called Governor or Gov. Residents are able to stroke and cuddle as well as kiss gorgeous Governor as part of an animal therapy initiative. Commenting on the fabulous equine's presence in the home, diversional therapist Chaz Thompson said, When Gov looks at the resident and the resident looks into the horse's eyes, there seems to be some type of relaxing connection. So very, very beautiful to watch. Gov also seems to sense when residents are unwell and becomes especially gentle around them. You have such an amazing heart, handsome governor. We love you. May human beings discover more and more about animals' incredible love and blessings as we respect all beings as sacred messengers of the divine. 